Mm. Good morning, girls and boys. Coffee time again. So I looked outside and it looks really, really chilly. It's kind of, oh, I'd say it's spitting. I'm not even sure if you'd qualify this as a rainy day. Nonetheless, I'm not going outside right now to plant the garden. And I just had something hit me. This, you might say, epiphany, right? Um, today, if we were at school, we'd be having church all about Mary, the special saint who our school's named after, right? So I thought this is a fantastic thing to do today because some of you might be a little bit more inside today. You might not go out and play in the backyard or go for a walk, at least till it stops raining. So I want you to go and search up cat chat. So it's just like writing cat twice, really, with an H, cat, C-A-T, and then chat, C-H. AT. Now remember when you type that in, there are no spaces between cat and chat. It's one word that's short for Catholic, right? Catholic chat. And this family, they're from Saskatchewan, and and their dad, and they, they came to our school a long time ago. I probably told you the story a hundred times, and you're saying, Mrs. Sandra, we know all about it. But <laughs> they came to, to school, and some of you, some of you in grade six, I think you may have been like, oh geez, three or four. You were really, really little when they came. And they even did a concert at the, the hall, the town and country hall in Airdrie. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, when they came at that time, that's when I bought my Cat Chat DVDs from them. And we've used them so much at school. But now you can go and access their resources for free. So type in Cat Chat. And the song that you want about Mary today, well, there's a couple, but... The one that I really love, it's kind of peppy and fun, it's called I Want to Say Yes. You might remember the tune of it. I want to say yes, just like Mary said. I want to say yes, just like Mary said. I want to say yes, just like Mary said. Yes, 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 Lord. Remember they do the thumbs up and the L for Lord. And then they go on to sing, doing God's will in the little things like trusting and obeying with a joyful heart. So I'm not going to sing the whole song, right? But just to refresh her, which piece I'm talking about. So something that stood out in that song for me is every time we sing it is how Mary said yes to God. And that's your job today. First job, sing the piece, do the actions. It'll be great. You'll get a little bit of exercise. And you know, if you have younger brothers or sisters at home, you could be their teacher. Okay? You could teach them to do thumbs up, which that's pretty easy peasy. Most most toddlers can copy that. But try and teach them to do the L. Maybe you can even show them on both hands and point out to them when the hand shape is like this, right? Which hand is the left hand? You could show them. Okay, anyways, <laughs> um, then I don't have to show them when they come to school, right? They'll, they'll know already. So you're going to watch. I want to say yes. Okay, and say, second job. Just like Mary did, how she said yes to God, even though she was frightened. And, and she did say, right? The words in the Bible say, let your will be done unto me. So she said, whatever you want, God, I will do for you. How courageous of Mary. Can you imagine being like a girl, you know, a high school girl? Well, let's say grade nine or right around that age and and having an angel appear to you. Like, wow, how cool is that? Yeah, pretty amazing, eh? Anyways, so I started thinking about, you know, we've been home almost two months now. And maybe, I know this has happened in our week or our house this week kind of notice we've been getting on each other's nerves so and even you know just the little things we're asking one another to do sometimes we're griping about it so it's a challenge for me too today that you know if your parents ask you to do something like pick up your toys or maybe put the remote control back where it belongs or go and do your reading for 10 minutes or check in on your D2L or whatever it is you have to do, right? Your Google Classroom, do it. Just like Mary said, yes. Then after you can feel that goodness in your heart that you were obeying 
what God wants you to do. Such a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. Um, some of the other pieces we would have sung today would have been the Magnificat. And there's a few versions of this one. One goes like this. Um, <coughs> we, we probably, well, we maybe would have done Steve Bell's recording. There's just so many great pieces about Mary. It's the one that sounds like this. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. And my spirit exalts in God my Savior. So that's a really pretty one. Yeah, actually, oh yeah, I know we would have for sure done that one because I remember we would have been doing ukulele now. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Sad. We would have been doing ukulele some grades. And I probably would have had a class do the strumming to that. While another class would have would have led the singing. But you know what? There's always next year. And you can listen to those pieces. Or if you have a ukulele at home, get it out. Get looking it up. Okay, some of you could play those pieces on pieces or on piano. So you um, might have another option. You might want to pray a decade of the rosary today. You could say 10 Hail Marys. Lots of things we can do today. But please, most important, remember, if your parents are asking you to do something, please say yes, just like Mary did. Okay? So I'm sorry to disappoint you. No gardening today. I think you'd probably be giggling if I went outside and, and hear me grumbling about how chilly it is. How chilly it is and I'm outside planting. So if anything good is about the weather today is all those containers that I filled. They're now getting lots of nice water, so I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to have to water them. I'll probably just have to poke the seeds in the little hole. That'll be kind of funny. And also sometimes when it's a chilly day outside, that's a nice day to bake cookies. Maybe, maybe I might do that because I know for the hundredth time I've told you we're moving and maybe when we move that, that might be a nice thing to offer the movers, hey? would be some cookies. So if you have some ideas about what kind of cookies I could make, you could email me today. Um, oh, and my thumb's getting better, in case you're wondering. I know you guys, every time I have an owie at school, you say, Mrs. Sander, what did you do? So I think I told you earlier in the week, I cut my thumb. Oh, silly. I just, the knife kind of slipped out of my hand. I know, but it's awkward. It's like, it has to heal because it's going to be driving me nuts. Can't really play the piano for a few days. That has to heal up nicely. So, yeah, I just want to keep talking talking to you guys. Have you noticed that? I know I'm feeling kind of, kind of like I miss my minions today quite a bit. Yeah, so anyways, we'll go on Monday. We will plant the garden. And um, maybe I can tell you on Monday then that I made, that I made cookies for for when we move and um hopefully my thumb will be a little bit better better by monday too okay big hugs everybody and have a great weekend bye